So far in this Minecraft 1.20 survival let's play series that we have been doing, we have built up a cozy starting area, a mining area, an XP farm, an enchanting area, and so much more. But you know what I realized after the last episode? We have barely scratched the surface of 1.20. I mean, sure, we haven't been totally ignoring 1.20, like we've been building with cherry wood and all that kind of stuff, but there is so much more that the 1.20 update has to offer, and I want to go find some of it. Armor trims, sniffers, and camels being amongst the things that we have not even seen yet, so I think I want to go try to find some new 1.20 stuff. I think that's the plan. I definitely bit off more than I could chew with editing together both this area and uh, the area that is right below me. So this is also a little bit of a switch up. We're going to go small. We're going to go cozy. We're going to go more Thork. You know, I think that's uh, definitely called for. I spent a little bit of time in between episodes getting some of the levels that I lost back. And if you want to know how I lost those levels in the first place, uh, go and watch the last episode. I'm not going to spoil it. <laughs> so while we still got some daylight, this is everything that I think we're going to do in this episode. All of these are going to be for the immediate right now-ness. In this episode, I think the first thing on the agenda is doing something I have genuinely never done before, but I know is a 1.20 thing. How do yeah, there we go. Let's make a couple brushes, because I have not touched archaeology yet, and I really want to. Oh man, that looks actually really cool. I think we should go try to find somewhere to test it out. Because if I can, I really, really, really want to find a sniffer. And I think that I have an idea of where a good idea to start looking for one might be. We could go all the way out in the opposite direction, however, if you recall, there's an ocean right here. Yep, there we go. There's some right there. If I am going to be exploring a lot, I definitely want a chest boat. Absolutely. All right, now let's set sail. I say set sail, but it's going to be literally right here. Mm, hopefully it's not going to be too dangerous. Ooh, a mending fishing rod. That's actually pretty useful. Ooh, a buried treasure map. I will also take that. Absolutely. Mm, I don't think there's suspicious gravel. I think I only need suspicious sand. Which, now that I'm thinking about it, that might just be any piece of sand around here. Because there's not much sand to begin with. Like, all of these might just be suspicious. <laughs> I do not know, but I, I guess we have to try. Is this doing anything? Hmm. Nope. There's nothing suspicious about that one. Not suspicious. <laughs> Man, I think I think I had a great idea here. I think we're going to go have to find somewhere else. In order to find something else, I guess we should follow the treasure map, huh? And that looks to be... Is that back where we came? Yeah, if the top of the map is north, uh, I guess that should be over here. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm learning. I am slowly learning to be a pirate. <laughs> I guess I also should have taken a bed, because this might get a little bit dangerous. It should be like right... No, that's... Mm, should be like right here. So I found it. Ignore all this. <laughs> this was by far the most difficult uh, treasure hunt, buried treasure thing I have ever stumbled upon. Treasure maps are, are just such a wild thing. But anyways... Regardless, we finally get to see what we get rewarded with. Okay, you know what? I will take that. I will gladly take all of that. I'm going to worry about fixing this area up a little bit later. For now, I'm just going to take some of the doors back and then I guess we'll be on our way. I mean, so far so good with loot. Uh, nothing 1.20, but I, let's go change that. And I guess we'll just keep exploring this area because, I mean, there has to be more ancient ruins. I've never explored out in this direction. This is essentially the furthest I've ever been in terms of our area. So all of this is going to be very, very, very new for me. And I would time lapse this, but I don't know. I kind of want to keep the discovery factor going, you know? Kind of want to check out these islands too. I mean, they are gorgeous. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a much more dangerous mission, but I think we'll find what we're looking for over there. All right, let's bring the boat around and try to figure out how to do this. 
Did I take... I didn't take my bed. It's also times like this that I love in Minecraft, just silently boating across the ocean, you know? All right, any ways? Oh God, I forgot about this. You know, I totally forgot that you guys can walk on land at night. I like you much better in the water. This area is turning out to be much more adventurous than, uh, than I previously had intended. This is a very pretty island though, right? Shield at the ready. I should have made armor. In fact, I can make armor. Hopefully we'll upgrade to diamonds soon. But for now, let's get a little bit of this going. Let's dive in, literally. Maybe I should have taken some water breathing. We're kind of good, at least for now. Let's do something like this. All right, we are a little bit safer. Now we can kind of start uh, exploring, I don't know, maybe a bit more systematically. Another buried treasure map. I don't think we're going to get any uh, suspicious sand here. Oh, oh my god. Okay, I I might have been totally missing something. I, I just looked it up because I didn't want to waste time. But suspicious gravel also spawns? I didn't know suspicious gravel was a thing. All this, I mean, I guess I have to blame YouTube for that because all of the coverage was on suspicious sand and not the gravel. Yeah, so this is a... This is a cold ocean, not a warm ocean. And so suspicious gravel kind of replaces sand. And so it's around. I just need to figure out what it looks like and not not take damage in the process would be ideal. That looks a little bit off. Is this it? No, no. Maybe that one of these surely has to be suspicious. Oh, there we are. What did what I get? Was that just a gold nugget? Oh boy. Okay, well, I I now know that these exist. So, oh man, they could be everywhere here, huh? Now, I don't know if sniffers can only be found in warm ocean ruins. Because if so, that would be... I'd be wasting a lot of time right now. Ooh, okay, I see the texture difference. Subtle, but very noticeable. Is that another nugget? I think that's just another nugget. Oh, there's some. Ooh, what is that? Is that an emerald? Okay, just some coal. I I hope each one of these has the potential to spawn some like uh, of the higher tier loot items. I, I hope it's not just for like the warmer ocean biomes because that would be slightly annoying. Yeah, this, this structure is where it's at. Huh, <gasps> ooh, new thing, pottery. Oh, absolutely, yeah, okay, this this structure is where it's at. Ooh, more pottery. Nice. This is so cool. Ah, oh, this area has some. Two back to back. I'm getting a lot of emeralds, which is honestly, I will, I will take that. Emeralds and nuggets seem to be the theme of this area. Okay, more pottery. Ooh, something different. Ooh, something different again. Oh my god, I didn't know you could get those. I didn't know that you could get tools like that. I think that might be this ocean ruin discovered. Got two of these, got that, got that. Uh, got a couple tools, some shards. I mean, that wasn't dug up, but you know what I'm saying, some emeralds, some gold. Overall, I'm happy with that. Of course, I still want a sniffer, so let's go try to find another one, huh? And to do that, I think we're gonna follow the treasure map that we got from this uh, area. And it looks like, well, if the top of the map is north and the bottom is south, that way was north, so this way must be south. I think. I really hope I, I know <laughs> what I'm talking about in this regard. I think, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're good. Also, this will give us an opportunity to explore a little bit further and I see some spruce. I'm already happy. Wow, this ocean is so, so gigantic. There's no way that this ocean doesn't have a, uh, a guardian temple as well. <laughs> Looks like that shoreline is the winner. Looks like it's going to be a water one, which I guess I prefer that because that means I don't have to uh, dig that far down. It has to be in this vicinity, somewhere right here. Hey, 
Okay, first try. That is a remarkable difference. All right, our loot is stacking up very quickly. Look at this. That's just ridiculous. Let's just keep exploring this area, I guess. If we can find a desert, that would be ideal. Um, but yeah, I'll take anything, honestly. Whoa. I thought that was just straight up land for a second, not ice. Ooh, is that something? That is something. This is just a small one and I'm not seeing anything notable. I don't know if we're gonna get that lucky. Does not look like it. All right, I guess on to the next thing and, and conveniently there's another buried treasure map. So I guess that's what we're doing. Where is this one? Somewhere, I, I have no idea. Um, if that way I think is north, that way is south, then north, south, east, west, east, we're going west. Aha, I am correct. I'm learning. Is that something? That's something. Although that's not the something I thought it was. I forgot they can spawn underwater. Oh, wait, is this going to the same place we just were? Yep. This is where we just were. Well, anyways, <laughs> moving on. I suppose we gotta go explore that ice area or see what's around the corner of the ice area. By the way, I should... While I'm here, I should take my bed back. That is a very important, crucial step that I almost forgot. But maybe I'll go see what's in that ice area and see where this coastline goes. I guess that's the next step. This area is really cool. So I kept exploring just a little bit further and I think I found the opposite of the Far Lands. I mean, this area is just stunning for so many reasons. I mean, I have no idea what we would do here, but it's definitely something and it's also something to be explored at a later date because this is just too much right now. I mean, we have pottery shards, so that is fantastic. We're definitely going to do something with that when we get back to the base. However, I still want to go find a sniffer, or at least try to. No guarantees this episode. The future Thork, you can let me know if I do or not. Well, tell me, not them. Th th no spoilers. And you know what? To save myself some time, I did go and research how you find a sniffer, and I was in the totally wrong spot. <laughs> I'm glad I did, because I would have wasted so much time. Apparently, you can only find sniffer eggs or sniffers in warm ocean ruins and i was in the cold ocean ruins so that would not have done me any good i think i have a good idea of where to start looking for a warm ocean ruin theoretically i already have found one i just didn't recognize it at the time i think we found one earlier in the let's play when we were discovering shipwrecks and failing to be a pirate so badly I think that ocean was a warm ocean. Well, at least it felt warmer over there, so I think we should go over there. Don't mind me. I'm actually not going to steal your bed this time. All right, let's go keep searching. What you want? Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> That's what I thought. Nah, I mean, that was rude. I apologize. <laughs> Anyways, yes, distractions. Anyways, let's go. <laughs> Oh my god, we have a mushroom biome as well, and it's like super close, well, relatively speaking. This is just wild, and there's even more over there. Oh yeah, by the way, we also have one of those in the background, uh, and if you don't know what that is, that is a ocean monument. Just absolutely crazy stuff, but like I've said it before and I'll say it again, this seed just keeps getting better and better i mean literally it just keeps one-upping itself and i and like i literally don't know how but it does <laughs> now the search for a warm ocean continues but i mean you expect me to find a land of mushrooms and not explore it <laughs> you've clearly not been around here before <laughs> 
Oh, hello, mushrooms. Oh my god, that's going to be so great. Anyways, uh, as I was saying, there's usually only one main island, but but we got so, so, so lucky. Is that is that a ruin? Mm, I see purple. I think that's another portal, so I think we can skip that. I mean, of course we're going to have to build something here. You know we are. I mean, as someone who loves to build with that cute and cozy mushroom aesthetic, having a huge mushroom island or mushroom island is just so perfect. That looks like something, not a warm ocean. In fact, I don't think I see a warm ocean for miles. Now, this is a deep ocean. I don't think I can find what I need in a deep ocean, though. I mean, we can certainly explore around here. Yep, things like this, 100%. This is like a future build, just like a coastal mushroom uh, cottage. Yep, absolutely. All right. Well, exploring this was really fun. However, I'm going to continue my search for uh, warm oceans. This could take a while and I don't want to time lapse at all because that's a lot of footage. So I'm just going to do the tried and true method of cutting out what is just boring and leaving in what's interesting and, and, and all that kind of stuff. So let's, let's get to it. <laughs> immediately something else interesting has happened so i i backtracked a little bit because i needed to make sure i wasn't losing my mind we have this uh ocean monument ocean temple whatever you want to call it but if you just take a quick peek across this island i i think you can see where this is going there's another a gigantic mushroom biome two back to back practically back to back anyways uh ocean monument temple things and and more mushroom biome over there the seed again it, w it didn't take long that time but it just keeps one upping itself and i don't know how it does it but that's insane i am gonna go far away from that thing though because i i am not nearly equipped enough to deal with one of those okay i'm gonna mark this area and well, I guess it should also sleep since I think it's becoming night. No, not night yet. <sighs> okay, I guess I'm just going to keep exploring this ocean and I'm going to do so in a straight line. That's what I've been doing to not get myself lost because this is a lot of ocean and, you know, I would very easily get lost. So I have just been traveling in a straight line and hoping it works. So let's continue. <laughs> All right, I'll take this as a sign of good luck. I've been traveling a little ways in this direction and I think I'm about to once again say for the I think the third time in this episode the seed just keeps amazing me because look at what I'm looking at I feel like I'm about to be blown away at this terrain oh my what what in the amplified terrain is this Ooh, a shipwreck that has a chance to have an armor trim I think okay well you know I have to explore this Okay, a swamp. I think that's warm, right? So maybe we're onto something here. I'm also stopping to collect any cows that I find along the way because we are also in need of books. Oh yeah, I should also be taking some lily pads. Absolutely. All right, you guys, I have made it to the shipwreck. That area over there is absolutely wild. I'm going to find out what we got over here and then I think head back and I will just keep exploring if I don't stop myself. So... That's what we got going on, and I should probably sleep as well. I mean, we could absolutely get lucky in the shipwreck and just get an armor trim, right? I think that's a possibility. Well, not like that. <laughs> we have one more chance, though, I think. I will take the books, honestly. That is almost more valuable right now than uh, a random 1.20 item or armor trim for me, because that means we can get enchanting and get some good stuff rolling. I think I left my boat over there, right? Come on. Oh, it's really going to make me go down here, isn't it? And if you don't understand the appeal of this, I I feel sorry for you. I just... That, what's not to love about that? It's, oh, right. We got a buried treasure map. I didn't even look at it. Well, I'm going to mark this area with a couple torches. And I guess I can't ignore this buried treasure. I feel like... Uh, if not me, then you guys would be yelling at me in the comments to, to, to go back and find it, so I want to get that out of the way. I mean, it can't be harder than the one that, that we had to find earlier, right? Uh, ignore all of this? This is not going to be worth it, is it? Nope, not at all in my opinion. 
Okay, I don't think I'm gonna be uh, treasure hunting anytime soon again because that was exhausting and a lot and very distracting. So let's head back and get started on the build that I want to do for this episode. But like, to be honest, we might not even need to do it. There's something familiar. So yeah, let's just uh, get back home. All right, we are back. That took a little bit, however, let's just see what we got this top one is kind of just junk i mean useful things but the main thing the main show is this three hearts of the sea some diamonds all this iron some of which i took uh, out there to begin with so it's not all stuff we found some obsidian some books a lot of books actually some leather and all these pottery shards some tools and just in general really useful stuff I'm going to get all this iron smelted up while I wait for this to smelt. What is this, you may ask? Well, that has to do with these. I'm going to make some pottery. I mean, I think I have enough to just like make one right now. But I also think you could just replace those with standard bricks. And so that's what we got. Well, I guess I'm just going to make four because we can do this for each one. And I think I want as many of these as possible. So let's just do this. Look at that. That I mean, it just looks like I have weird gloves on right now, but I promise you they are pots. Let's put this one, I guess, around here somewhere, maybe for some decoration. You know what? The entrance is feeling a little bland. So, oh, I did not place it the right way. Hang on. Can I break it? Okay, I get everything back, but I have to I have to recraft it again, which is only slightly annoying. Also, I just want to check. I can just make normal ones. That is fantastic. Five episodes in, I'm still slowly learning 1.20. Give me a break. <laughs> so if that placed backwards, then does this work? Yeah, kinda. Oh, that's not the one that I wanted to, to, to use here. Yeah, okay. That is fantastic. Now, well, I think you know what we got to do. Oh, wait. Can I not? Can I only place flowers in them? Oh wait, no, I remember. I was almost really disappointed, but I remember how you do it. I'm so used to, to seeing this that I forgot that you have to add a thing on top of it. But anyways, that is so pretty. What do you think, Blossom? I, I, I think I love it. Do one like that. Yes. Do another one. Yep. 100%. I love that. And let's remake this one and maybe... I don't know, one or two more. Man, we have so many bricks now. In the grand scheme of things, it's not that many bricks. However, eh, it's good for a start, I'd say. And they just go absolutely stupid in terms of aesthetics. Man, I'm just so happy with this. Anyways, I, I will just keep staring at it for forever. Uh, so let's get on with what we want to do next. And then after that thing, we might be getting close to the end of the episode. So we'll see. We'll see. Now, for the next part of this episode, I think it's time to finish something up from last episode. Or at least I think we might be able to. Let's make all these books. Hopefully this is going to be enough for at least level 30. I do need to get some more wood, though. No, thank you. Go away. Go away. Not today. You're fine. You can chill. <laughs> All right, moment of truth time. Let's see if we have enough resources without having to do an extra build. But by the way, in case you missed it, we we did this in the last episode. We built up this huge enchanting area and it was kind of treacherous getting it done, not gonna lie. But I mean, I think it's so worth it when you look at how cute and aesthetic this area is. There was only one problem. We did not have enough bookshelves, but hopefully we can change that. <laughs> Ooh, actually... Ooh, wait, we might have enough. I think we only have to craft 13 because, well, we already have two, right? I think 15 is enough exactly for level 30. I'm really testing my knowledge here a little bit, but I think, I think this is enough. All right, let's see if it is actually enough. Yes, absolutely it is. Well, I think you know what time it is. It is finally time to put my levels and my diamonds to good use. Where are my diamonds? My diamonds to good use. All right, let's see what we can get here. Uh, I think I saw a quick charge on a book, right? We do not want that. Let's just cycle with power one. Lo oh, loyalty. Well, that would be great if I have a trident, but I do not. Let's see what we can get on a pick. Fortune two. 
Oh, that seems really good. Let's get a fortune iron pick. Oh, that is a powerhouse of an iron pick. I mean, we are level 41, so we have some we have some rolls, if you will. All right, let's see what's next. Power. Power is tempting. Any silk touch? Not yet. Also, I will. I will be making another diamond pick because, I mean, I have one, but it's only on breaking two. And I would love to get a legendary pickaxe. Unbreaking in, uh, man, that power. Yeah, let's, let's, let's try it. Power unbreaking. I will gladly take pickaxe fortune. That's what I'm looking for. All right. I'm just taking this regardless. Let's hope for something insane. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. hundred percent actually. And I think it is also time for an upgrade on a sword oh yeah that feels really good just uh check one more time that was bane of arthropods yep let's just get a silk touch pick huh oh yo looting three on a diamond sword I th yep that has to be our last level 30 enchantment for the uh the episode let's see what it is oh boy okay you know what as long as it wasn't only bane of arthropods i was happy i'm not i'm level 28 i have an xp farm well, I, I think you know what follows. All right. That was just easy, wasn't it? Oh, hello. Come on. Enough. Enough. Also, as a side note, we have a ton of chainmail armor. Uh, I mean, I know that's to be expected, but it's always cool to see, isn't it? I remember when chainmail armor was like a mystical thing and like it was not that easy to get. Also, I don't remember ever showing this area, except maybe in a time lapse. It's kind of interesting that... I might do something with that area eventually, I'm not sure, but I mean, this is just a little storage area and it, it's functional, it works. All right, let's real quick get that fortune, actually, idea, since I have one more thing I want to do in this episode. Spend money to make money, am I right? Oh wait, did it cycle? Or was it always fortune two? Oh wait, fortune three on an iron, that's right. What do you think? I'm giving up another fortune three, but this could give us unbreaking. Mm, I think it's worth it. I, I, I just think it's worth it because I mean this pick is beautiful but I, I, I want it to last a little bit and if we can combine it with something really good question mark another big efficiency one this is just strictly a, a worse pickaxe right now but I mean we can always combine it later for now I'm just going to go store all of our extra um, just absolutely wild tools I am going to start using this sword though, because it is ridiculously good. All right, so with Fortune 3 and Silk Touch acquired, well, I think you know what time it is, Future Thark, right? There they are. I think half a stack is good enough. Hmm, also seems like a good time to test out my bow. Oh man, that's so nice. Yep, this is really cool. <laughs> All right, you guys, I was just about to wrap up this recording session because it's pretty late. I don't know where this is going to be in the video, but I found something. I was in the middle of fighting some skeletons. And by the way, I'm in that amethyst area because that's where I had some diamonds saved up that I have in mind for a slick touch. So I've been exploring this area just a little bit because I don't think you guys would be mad at that. It's just, <laughs> it's just some caves, right? <sighs> They knocked me off this cliff, and lo and behold, this seed. I mean, what, the fourth time I've said this? This seed just keeps getting crazier and crazier. Oh my god, and it's a skeleton spawner. I don't know how careful I have to be here. But I think, I think we can get this pretty good. I think this is a reward for a job well done. Let's see what is in these chests. The only problem is I don't know <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to get rid of to, to take them. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Wait, what was that disc? Cat. Perfect. And right. Not too bad. Not too bad. I think I am going to have to come back for that, though. And well, we, we have another skelly spawner if we ever need it. I, I don't know if we will, though. Regardless, it's cool to know it's here. It is a very eerie place for one.
get me out of here. Nope, 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 nope. I'm done. I am so done. Noted. That's down there. That was absolutely terrifying. It is night. Just, just as I was about to wrap up. I, yeah, that's, that's a good enough place to just chill for now. I am in no position to deal with a warden right now, so let's just, let's just bring all this back up to the surface, quietly and carefully. See you guys back up there. That was two, that was two shrieks. We were that close, that close. Okay, you know what? You know what? I've never said I have smart ideas. I, I am back, but I'm also bold. I don't want one of these so bad. Are you not mad anymore? Because that's inconvenient for me. Oh, that's probably not ideal. Or maybe it is. Jeez, no trident. Okay. I'm gonna regroup, get some stuff organized, and then I'll be right back. Oh, man. All right, that was way too intense. That was... That was way too crazy. However, it is a new day. Oh, that's an interesting angle. Um, anyways, yeah, I, I've never heard those uh, those actual sounds in Minecraft before, but I don't think I want to hear them, like, ever again. That, well, we are going to find them again, and we may even go after the warden in this Let's Play. Who knows? I don't know if there's an achievement for it, but Regardless, let's get back on track and refocus on this episode, which ironically is probably almost done. But regardless, this is all of the loot that we managed to pull out of the caves. It's a little bit more than I expected. I expected a little bit more uh, shiny blue, but I think this can turn into a pretty good amount of diamonds with Fortune 3. And there is another chest, and that... <laughs> That is some extra ore. I am getting a head start on collecting all these different ore types for the ore museum, or whatever we're going to call it in the future. I'm not sure, but regardless, collecting all of the different types of ore varieties in Minecraft has been something that I've been talking about for a while now, since 1.19 actually. And so this is a great start, especially now that we have Silk Touch, we can really get started on this. Well, I couldn't get started on it or to be honest, because that's not how that works. But now that I do have Silk Touch, we can really make some progress. We are missing some deep slate coal ore, we are missing some normal diamonds, and I think both types of emeralds we are missing. So uh, honestly, we have made a lot of good progress. And I think I am gonna count the nether ores as part of this ore museum because I mean I mean they are ores, they are in the game, and we have silk touch now, so hopefully it shouldn't be that complicated. But regardless, that is what those are for. I think we should spend a little bit of time collecting up all of the different ores that we have gathered uh, so so dangerously uh, in a big stone or treasure tower pillar type thing we are gonna get so much iron it is unreal that is gonna have to be in the morning though so i'm gonna go and sleep and we can get started on mining up all of this ore all right so let's see where i want to start pillaring up i think we should probably start to pillar up like around here somewhere i mean it's it's thematic this is where the mine is after all but also i really quickly wanted to show you guys a thing when I was trying to connect up the spawner, I also connected up to this area. And I don't know about you, but that to me sounds absolutely perfect. This area is a mining area. That's an XP farm. It just kind of makes sense thematically, right? So maybe eventually we're going to create a build here and create a little bit of a structure to connect the two. But that is not for today. Right now, I think all that I want to do is... uh is collect all of our goodies. We did not get as much redstone as I would have hoped, but still that should be plenty with Fortune 3. Now, all this gold. I got way more gold than I got redstone, and I don't know how to feel about that, but uh, we may put it to use at some point. We can do some golden carrots or something, right? I just realized that we have the same amount of, of deep slate iron that we have normal iron. I did not plan that. I swear to you, I did not plan that. But I actually really love that. <laughs> and of course, the cherry on top of this whole thing, all the diamonds. Actually, here's the thing that we'll do. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think the final result of all of these <laughs> amounts of ores will be. 
Uh, I'm not going to count them, just if you want to count them when I'm done, by all means. I, 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 I cannot be bothered, so let's just get to it. Future Thork, you know what time it is. Right, leave your guesses in the comments below. I'm not gonna add them up. I don't care if you got it right, got it wrong, whatever. Three, two, now. I, I am actually very surprised at how many diamonds we got. We turned eight diamonds into 18 diamonds. That is so, so, so good. Almost doubling the amount of diamonds that we got. That's, that's just wild. And of course, we're never gonna have to worry about iron. Uh, well, I wouldn't say ever again, because we may build some crazy things, but for the time being, iron is not going to be a concern. Now, while I'm smelting all of this iron, I think that we should be focused on getting an upgrade. Because you know what? I don't know about you, but I cannot be looking at all of these diamonds and all of this iron armor and, and you know, not want to do something. So we're going to make a chest plate. We're going to make a helmet and we're going to make some boots. This is truly what I would consider an upgrade. Oh man, look at us. This is just wild. Now that we have a ton of materials, some goodies, and all this armor, and these tools, I think we are perfectly suited, <laughs> see what I did there, to work on some larger projects around here. There's no way that we were going to do all this with iron tools. But if I'm going to be honest, I think I'm going to leave all of that kind of stuff for the next episode. I'm not going to start anything huge, crazy, wild, mega build, anything in this episode. We have done so much in this episode. Not that it was as much as we did in last episode, of course, but I wanted this episode to be kind of like a chill little break from the crazy building and all that kind of stuff and now that we have tools we can go back to it and all that kind of stuff and we can keep exploring for more 1.20 stuff too but right now i think i'm happy with these couple flower pots or vases pottery shards i don't know i don't know but like in all seriousness i am very happy with this and it's just such a good change of pace to like just slow it down a little bit after building two huge areas in the last episode. Just some casual, good old Minecraft exploration and chills vibes is I think very needed. I also have a plan for the next couple of episodes, so feel free to leave your suggestions in the comments of what you want me to do, but I think I already have an idea. Past Thork totally forgot to say this, but I think that's the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I really do appreciate it. This episode was kind of wild. I mean, not as wild as, you know, the enchanting area back there and last episode in general, because we did so much in last episode. But after a big <laughs> building episode like that, I think a chill wandering exploration enchanting episode is very much called for in my opinion like this video if you if you liked it subscribe if you did uh, want to keep up to date with whatever we got going on and what's going on in the next episode and anything else in the series as always keep being you keep being awesome and uh, i'll see you in the next one see you later uh, i'm gonna go enjoy my diamonds now <laughs> very much so what do you think what do you guys think these are not toys <laughs> these are mine